Welcome everyone. This is uh, Miami and, and this is Anna Dodge. And today we'll be commentating uh, Laval versus uh, you Ottawa Gigi's here at Mad Anthony Field. A beautiful Saturday afternoon. Um, I'll be starting with the Laval lineout. Uh, at one, Cécile Leclerc. Two, Alexis Lachapelle Johnston. Three, Chloé Maranda. Four, Emily Fortin. Five, Anne Frédéric Simard. Six, Elisabeth Reyes. Seven, Lea Ouellet. Uh, eight, Sarah Jeanne Provo. Nine, Corinne Fréchette. Ten, Laurence Chabot. Eleven, Laura Gay. Do, uh, Twelve, Audrey Champagne. 13, Rosalie Charbonneau. 14, Marie-Laura Choquette. 15, Adèle Sanson. And as subs, we got number 16, Marie-Léandre La Liberté des Années. 17, we got Anne-Sophie Caro. 18, we have Raphaël Boisvert. 19, Eve-Marie Houle. 20, Naomi Bertrand. Cléry. Uh, 21, we got Noémie Tremblay. 22, 22 Rosalie, Rosaline Oud. 23, Emma La Jeunesse. 24, Amélie Tremblay. And 25, Lorraine Panton. For your U Ottawa GGs today, we have number one, Deborah Oyatoran. Number two, Michaela Sweeting. Number three, Sophie McDonald. Number four, Ketsia Kamba. Number five, Leia Stiles. Number six, um, Winnie. Winnie Tran Ao. Number seven, Rachel Steele. Number eight, Tylo Borsboom. Number nine, Julia Latremoy. Number 10, Jamie Lee Walker. Number 11, Mercedes Cole. Number 12, Sarah White. Number 13, Isabel Glise. Number 14, Ngozi Mosindi. And number 15, we have Aurora Bowie. And for your finishers, we have number 16, Emma Wade. Number 17, Alicia Comtois. Number 18, we have Blessing Akunde. Number 19, um, Kaylee McMillan. Number 20, Bronwyn Earl. Number 21, Annalise Way. Number 22, Farida El Sharkawi. Number 23, Taylor Hendrick. Number 24, Ella Blythe. And number 25, Emanuela Anye. And the GGs are led by Duncan McNaughton in his first game as head coach. So we got a line out here for Laval. One by Tylo Borsboom. Latremoy passes out to Aurora Bowie, who kicks. It's well fielded by Laval, who attack the open side. Penalty for Laval, diving over the ball. Gives the ball for the Gigi's. Number 10, Jamie Lee Walker, gonna try and fight the sideline.
testing. Sorry for the little technical difficulty there. GG Scrum in their own half. Lots of Moy with the put in. Boarsboom picks. Beats a defender. It's taking three to get her down, and she rolls out of the tackle. Lots of Moy with the box kick. It's beautifully placed. Laval line out, but the Gigi's got some great field position here. They've got the ball rolling. Yes, sir. Laval line out. They walk in. Find Number four, but it's just bobbled off the top. Laval ball. Trying to exit here. Prochette out to the forward pod who takes it in. Laval working in their end zone. GG's line out. We've seen a couple of overthrows and missed line outs here. It is quite a windy day at Matt Anthony Field, so let's see how this one goes. Dodge, as a former hooker, what would you do here in these situations? Probably just try and secure ball, you know, go to the front like they do. It's bobbled off the top, but it goes backwards. GG's still have possession. Boars boom. Tylo. Oya Toran takes the ball and she's feisty. Just bobbled off the fingertips. Frechette takes it in. Laval going to try and play out the advantage. Gigi's looking for help on the left here. Rochette kicks it over the top. Knocked, knocked on by Laval. Interesting, I'm not sure if they gained advantage from the first knock on. So Andrew McMaster going to check in with his sideline ref here. And he says the GGs were offside, so it's going to be a Laval penalty. Laval got the wind on their back, so they'll probably try and boot it downfield. Number 12, sending it to the 45. Been a lot of set play here. I'd really like to see some continuity in play. We'll see what the Rouge all have in store for us off this line out. Still 0 0 here. Down 20 minutes, 20 minutes to go. Go up to number five. She passes it back, but it's knocked on. It's going to be a GG scrum. seen a couple of penalties awarded to the GGs at the scrum. However, it's been pretty head to head in the other ones. So we'll see how this one plays out.
And that's Ramoy, hooked back by Michaela Sweeting, goes to Tylo Borsboom, who passes off to Sarah White. And Laval jackals the ball. It's going to be a not releasing penalty against the GGs. Laval number 12, Audrey Champagne, is going to kick downfield. She finds about 15 yards. Well, I guess the good thing for these teams, the set piece coaches are going to have a lot to analyze after today. Oh, yeah. Laval goes up to number five, and Frederic Simal, they go in for the mall. It's turned a bit, but still going forward. It's peeled off. Penalty against the GGs. Not rolling away. Laval very close to the try zone here. It's kicked to the five meter line. The Rouge all are in great field positioning here. Last time they couldn't come away with it. The Gigi's defense was too strong, but we'll see what happens here. That's overthrown, but it goes right into the hands of a Laval player and it's gonna be a try. I believe that was number one, Cecile Leclerc. Unfortunate for the GGs, I think the wind just kind of took that one and ended right up in the hands of a Laval player. No one really at fault for that one, but unfortunate nonetheless. Nope. Five points for Laval, waiting for the kick conversion by number 12. 25 minutes into the game, we have our first points. Audrey Champagne. And the kick is good. It is now 7-0 for Laval. Aurora Bowie lines up for the drop kick. Goes deep. No one puts a name on it and then Gay takes the ball. It's a strong run. Ball out to number four, Fulton, but it's a nice tackle by Deborah Oitoran. Frechette. Quick kick. Well fielded by Bowie. She's going to take the inside, goes to the middle of the field. Where all the teammates are. Sarah White's going to take it in. Sophie McDonald with the carry. Latremoy out to Walker, but it's knocked on by the Laval team. It's going to be a penalty offside. Number 10, Jamie Lee Walker, JLW, gonna look to kick it downfield. And it's a nice kick. 
Beautiful. GGs have a line out just outside their own, their attacking 22, sorry. What will they show us now? GGs with the huddle. Sweeting. Throws in to Boar's Boom. It's well taken, but Andrew McMaster says it's not straight. Laval has the option, scrum or line out. They're going to take the scrum, it looks like. Andrew McMaster not happy with the setup. He's going to tweak a couple things on U Ottawa's loose head side. Believe he might be telling Deborah to get her shoulder out a bit more. Prachette with the put in. Good drive by the GGs. Big kick. Taken by Aurora Bowie. She's going to take it to the outside. Out to Jamie Lee Walker, who passes to Ngozi Masindi for her first touch of the game. Quick it's steps. A great run. Gigi's with momentum. Out to Kamba. Takes a few to take her down. Oya Toran takes it. Out to Steele, who's going to pick and go. Sophie McDonald takes it in. Playing very close here. Deborah. Well taken by Deborah. Ball pops out, but Latramoy recovers. Whistled. Gigi's penalty right in front of the sticks. So it'll be interesting to see if they take the opportunity for the conversion. And it looks like they might. Oh, bit of a miscommunication here. We had someone running the tee out, but the GGs say we're going to play. Ketsia combo with a strong run. Tylo Boar's boom. GGs in a threatening position. Looks like they're going to pick and go. Why not? And, and it's try. a GG's try. <laughs> Unsure of what number that was. Looks like Ketya. Who else? <laughs> Ketya Kamba, number four. Ketya led the team with a lot of tries last year. Um, looks like she got another to her name today. And Jamie Lee Walker here looking for the conversion to tie this game. That's a great response from the GGs. You know, it's hard sometimes when you go down first, but they came back and were able to get some points on the board. So far, a pretty even game, which is to be expected. When these teams play, they always play their best games against each other. So Jamie Lee Walker. Good kick. Goes up, and, and that's it's in. True. We've got a tied game here, folks. 7-7 seven, seven. in front of a huge U Ottawa crowd. It appears the bleachers have overflown into the end zones. Laval going to look to respond with about eight and a half minutes left in the first half. Number 12, Audrey Champagne with the kick. It's 
not going to go 10. So it looks like it's going to be a GG scrum at midfield. Miami, maybe for our non-rugby viewers, can you tell us why a center scrum is so threatening as a defender? Well, let me tell you why. <laughs> because there's so many options and there's uh, they can go left, they can go right, they can just run through the middle and the, def the defense just has to wait and see what comes to them. Yeah, and with only uh, a few in the back line, it's pretty spacious for the GGs to run. Especially when you have threats at the wing that can just put the gas on and one, two step and mm -hmm. then they're gone. We've got Mercedes Cole with the speed on the left-hand side and Ngozi Masindi with the power on the left. Mm -hmm. Mercedes actually just came back from uh, uh, Rugby America yep. North uh, Playing Olympic for Jamaica. Qualifiers. She made her debut for the Jamaican Sevens team. Boersboom going for the run. It's picked up by Laval, but it's done so illegally. <laughs> JLW going to look to eye up the sideline with the kick. It's good, but it doesn't find touch. Laval going to kick it back. back finds to JLW Jamie. to Bowie. She kicks it over. It's a great kick. Oh. I think Laval has the ball. They do. GG ball, Sarah White with the quick steal on the ground and it's gonna be a GG's penalty in their own attacking zone. What a legend, Sarah White. Yeah, in her, I guess, sixth year now with the GG's. COVID, taking, yeah. yeah. She started in 2018, played a bit in the second row before she was moved to the centers. Last year she made a a great appearance at 12 for the GGs. She was named an RSQ All-Star. Beautiful, and now she's captain of the GGs. Yeah. Sarah White, everyone. Sweeting with the throw in. Up to Winnie, but it's not straight. The GGs working against the wind here a little bit. It's going to be a Laval scrum. Yeah, a really experienced GG's team here. Every single one in the starting lineup is a returning player from last year. Yeah. With only a few new names in the finishers. Let's see what Laval does here in the red zone. I'm guessing they're going to look to exit. It's a great scrum by the GGs, though. Wheeled a bit, though, so Andrew McMaster is going to reset it. GGs can get that drive a bit straighter. It looks like a penalty could come their way. Just so much power. Yeah, like we said, Duncan McNaughton and Asia Bartley and the coaching staff, two legends in the scrum, so lots of knowledge and expertise in the in the pack. This one's a bit more stable for Laval. Eight pick to nine, who kicks it? Bounces over Aurora's head. 14 from Laval. Bowie gonna look to take the outside against Frechette. Quick steps. It's a nice tackle by number 10, Chabot. Latremoy box kicks. What a sequence. Bit of a kicking tennis game going on here. Val finds touch. GG ball. Some really great kicking being on display today. Yeah. Even in spite of the wind, the GGs are have been bombing them and Lavelle, Lavelle have been throwing it right back. Yeah, for the viewers at home, the GGs have the win against them 
um, today. Well, on this side of the field, anyways. Sweeting with the throw in. Gigi's walk in. Fake to the middle, but go front. Comes off Boris Boom. Advantage to the Rouge et All. But it appears like they have possession, anyways. Out to Sending Champagne. It to the back. They've Great got hands. lots of space, but it's knocked on in the tackle by Mercedes Cole. Andrew McMaster says it's a penalty. Piercy might be checking with his sideline ref if it was an intentional knock on, which would be a yellow card. Which meant, means 10 minutes in bin. Bit of a conference going on. From what I could tell, it looked like it was in the tackle and not intentional, but not sure what was seen on the sideline. Knocked on by GG's, looks like it. Mercedes Cole escapes the yellow card. Going for the penalty kick here. Get three points on the board for Laval. Yeah, Audrey Champagne is a great kicker and she's got the win to her back, so why not? Look to edge ahead of the GG's here. Now it is still a live ball, so if it doesn't go through, bounces off the pole, they can still play. Champagne lines up for the kick. It goes just wide and out the back of the end zone. I believe that's going to be a 22 for the GGs. They can kick from wherever they want to. And for a 22, the ball just has to go over the line. So Laval has a couple of girls right in the face of Aurora Bowie. Big kick. Oh, and that's going to be a penalty, I believe. She was in front of the knock-on. Oh, Andrew McMaster says, just a scrum. For those of you who don't know, if someone knocks on the ball and another player is in front of them and attempts to touch it, it is a penalty. But in this case, just a knock on. It's going to be left and always put in for a right hand scrum for the GGs. Jamie Lee Walker has Ngozi Masindi tight to her hip and Sarah White outside of her. Boris Boom to Left to White. Takes it in. Oh! Attempted offload and goes right into the hands of the Laval player. Frechette. Laval scrambling a little bit. Another great tackle by Debra. La Chapelle Johnston takes it in. It's bobbled about. Boersboom with a great hit, but it's going to be advantage to the Rouge et All. Chabot goes for a bit of a run. Going to go back to the previous penalty of offside. Champagne eyes down the sideline. It's going to miss touch and go into the end zone and out the side. Is it's going to be a 22. And that is time. Half, half time. 7-7. Seven, seven. We've got a tied game. We'll be back in 10 minutes. See you then.
And we're back, folks. Second half underway. Laval with the kickoff, number 12, Audrey Champagne. A uh, couple subs here. You can tell us, Dodge, who came in. For the GGs, number 16, Emma Wade is making her front row debut. Number two. She was what, number 13 last year? Yep, right? she played 13 last year and started her first two years in the GGs as a back three. So it'll be interesting to see how she does in the front row. And then we also have Annalise Way coming in in the back row. It's a deep kick. And they're gonna touch it down for a scrum. Is it still a scrum at the five meter line? Yep, so a recent uh, rule change in the past couple of years, if you kick into the end zone and the team um, touches it down, it's a- Oh, not a scrum a anymore. A goal line dropout, sorry. Yeah. So it's almost like a, a 22 drop, but it's done from the goal line and it has to go five meters. <coughs> Lots of kicking there at the beginning of this uh, second half. It goes short. Annalise is going to take it for her first touch of the game. Out to Ngozi Masindi. Fighting her way through that. The powerful Still going. take. Finally down. Oh. And it appears like Laval were able to hold on to it. Ketsia Kamba telling her teammates to look at where they are deep in their in their green zone. Laval are gonna have to exit. Laval scrum on their own five. Frechette with the put in. It's pretty stable out to Chabot, to Champagne. Lots of space on the outside. Grizzy going to try to tackle number 10. Good offload. This is Choquette, I believe, with the Aurora Bow with a good defense right there. Gigi's make it back, but Laval have momentum. It's a great hit by Leia Styles. Laval mm -hmm. going quickly. Laval going quickly, but it's met nicely by the Gigi's. And another great hit would force the knock on Sophie McDonald. But called Gigi's knock on. Laval ball. Great hit by Sophie McDonald, but unfortunately, just in the tackle, her hand slipped and knocked it on. And there's a new sub coming in. Farida El Sharkwe taking off Julia Latremoy at the scrum half position. Great opportunity for U Ottawa's bench to get some important minutes in the RSCQ. Laval scrum. Out to Champagne. To Chabot. Quick. Out wide. They're 15. It's a great pass to Choquette, who's tackled by Way. Sorry, Farida. Lots of momentum here for Laval. Another great hit by Leia Styles. Just an absolute beast. Laval out back, but Winnie was on the hunt, made a great tackle. Out to number 13 to six. Good offload there by Laval. Nicely met by Sarah White. Champagne takes it in, takes a couple GGs to get her down. Chabot over the top to Choquette. Jamie Lee Walker going to look for the hit. Can't get her out of bounds, but does get her down. Frechette unable to find her target. Looks like a turnover for the GGs. Out back to Aurora. Going to kick it nice and long. Going to try for the 50-22.
but does not make it. Not quite a 50-22, but a great kick nonetheless. That was a good ball handling there from Laval. Probably the most continuous play we've seen all game. Yeah. It's going to be a Laval line out. Up to number five, she takes it nicely out the back to find Fauchette to Champagne. Big kick. Kick over the top, found nicely by Aurora. She's gonna try and take the outside, but is met by Gay. It's gonna be a not releasing call against the GGs. Support just a little late there on that run. Laval with the ball in hand looking for the sideline is Champagne. Ball is She's in. not going to find it. Aurora is going to take it and kick it back. It's a great kick. Over ball the head of backwards. Fouchette. But still lots of room to run. Winnie with the tackle. Knocked on, and Ketsia Kamba's pumped about that one. Center scrum for the GGs. And to our viewers at home, if you notice a cowboy on a ladder on the sideline, it's not in fact a cowboy, it's Gigi's new head coach, Duncan McNaughton, opting to take the ladder for a better view of his squad. Boar's boom with the take. Makes a couple yardage. Gigi's going fast. Knocked forward, but it's going to be an offside call. Gigi's ball. Gigi's now have the win to their back, although it didn't really seem to be a problem in the first half for Jamie Lee Walker. She's going to look to find the sideline. We're gonna see what I believe is Emma Wade's first throw in of the day. Like we said, making her hooker debut. Coming from a 13 position. Fun fact about Emma's switch to hooker, she was jokingly throwing line out throws out of practice and Duncan McNaughton spotted her and recruited her to the front row. Good throw. Not cleanly taken, but Gigi still have possession. Out Gigi's the back to Winnie with a nice carry. Leia Styles gonna go for a small run. Gigi's going fast. Aurora to Mercedes. Farida's gonna find Tylo Boar's boom. It's gonna take three to take her down. Aurora Big Bowie boom. to Sarah White. GGs have a bit of forward momentum. Frida's gonna pick and go. Mercedes Cole gonna play nine out to Leia Styles. Gigi's playing quick ball here. Tylo's still not down. Rudal Sharkwe going to find Ketia Kamba. She's got an eye for the try line, but is cut just short. Out to go go Cindy with the big legs. And that's and a, a try. try. <laughs> and the crowd is pumped about that one. Gigi's going to take the lead. It's now 12-7. 
Jamie Lee Walker is going to set up for the kick right on the edge of the sideline. It's going to be a tricky one. You know, it's really great when you can have people like Gogo on the wing. You know, she's a winger, but she can take the ball like any forward. So when oh, you're yeah. by the try line, she's a great option. Force of nature right there. Uh, we call her Gogo. -Go. Real name is Ngozi. Jamie Lee Walker here taking the penalty. The convert. The convert. <laughs> a little hop skip to get set up. It's a good strike, but it's going to go just wide. It's now 12-7 for the GGs with about 30 minutes left in the game. Ketsia and Gogo are going to hit a gritty for us. Big dancers, those girls. They are indeed. Gigi's ready to receive this kickoff. Number two now kicking. Alexi Lachapelle Johnston. Interesting to see a front row take a drop kick, but hey, if she can get it there. It's a nice kick, too. Good Taken skills. by Grizzy. It's 2023, Dodge. Forwards uh, can do anything now. Hey, you don't have to <laughs> tell me. My place is on the wing, and I'm a front row, so. <laughs> Kick is going to bounce down the sideline. Number 15 is going to get the ball and kick it back. Right into Farida is going to take it nicely out to Aurora Bowie. He's going to hit Grizzy, but it's a great tackle. GG's with possession. Going to go out the back. Emma Wade's going to pick it up. Bit of messy play here, but GG's remain in possession. Out Tylo. to Tylo Boars, boom. Exit. Jamie Lee Walker with the high and long kick. But Choquette is going to find it nicely and run to the outside. It's a good hit by Sophie McDonald, but a bit high. The GG's men's rugby team in attendance and always great additions to the crowd. She's not going to find touch and Gozima Cindy is going to step one, two onto the ground. Back to Aurora Bowie is going to kick it low. It's going to bounce into the arms of number 15. That is Adele Sampson. Adele? Number 12 here, trying to going for a run. Breaking some tackles. Laval with momentum, going to find number five. Tylo going for the jackal. Out the back to 15, to six. It's a good tackle by the Cindy, and Sarah White is right there. Can't get her hands on it. Ketia Kamba is going to intercept the pass. What a tower. A previous basketball player. She's known for those steals. Aurora is going to find the ball over the head of the defense, and it rolls nicely for good field possession. Laval line out just ahead of the 22. Gigi's crowds are pumped. Like we said earlier, huge Gigi's fan here. Fan attendance here. They actually had to start turning people away, saying that they were at capacity. So now they're just sitting on grass. Thanks for staying. Can't see a combo with what appears to be a calf cramp. It's a hot day here on Matt Anthony, so get some electrolytes in her and she'll be good to go. Give her some pickle juice. Some mustard. A banana. <laughs> 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 
good opportunity for the GGs and the Rouge All to regroup. Patrick Thompson is out there in the huddle. Looks like we're gonna have a GG substitution. This is number 17, Alicia Comtois. She's a master's student transferred from Sherbrooke. Originally from Magog, Quebec. Never heard of that, but happy to have her here. And we're back for Laval lineout. Number two, La Chapelle Johnston with the ball. Fake to the front, goes to the middle. It's well taken. Mall, Laval, they've got good forward momentum coming here, but Gigi's slowing them down. Good talk here from the Gigi's. Still going forward. Out the back to Chabot. She's well met by, by Cindy, but gets the ball off to number 22. That's Rosaline Hood. Aurora taking that ball. Another like it's great her job. kick. Oh, it's kicked. Andrew McMaster is going to say it was a knock on. It's going to be U Ottawa ball with good field positioning. We've got a little under 25 left here to play. Gigi's are up 12 to 7. I want to see a little magic here, Dodge. I don't know about you, but. Sure do. Give me some back action. We've seen in this position before, the Gigi's have opted for. Tylo Boersboom to take the ball and hit Sarah White on the tip line coming through. Looks like that option is still on. Ngozi Masindi is next to Jamie Lee Walker as another threat. Great pick by Tylo Boersboom, but just ankle tapped. Messy ball, but it goes backwards. Good retrieval by Gigi. Leia Styles is going to play nine. Alicia Comtois with their first touch of the game. Aurora Bowie with a great almost volleyball pass out to Mercedes Cole. Tylo Boar's boom. Still trying to. It's ripped out by Sean Pang, but Andrew McMaster. Hair pulling. <laughs> I didn't know there was a hand gesture for that, but. <laughs> go, go with a cramp, hopefully. That's number 14 for the GGs. Number 10, JLW, gonna look at the sideline. Cramp season is upon us. They really come out of nowhere and really get you, don't they? <laughs> really? Appears like it might be cramps in both calves for Ngozi Masindi. Good opportunity though for the Gigi's to regroup. You see them taking a huddle to talk about what they're gonna do in this line out. We've seen them with some good driving malls. Not really sure what the rules are for cramping. Couldn't tell you, Miami. <laughs> Andrew McMaster gonna allow them to take their time before he says to play on. Time's back on and the GGs with the line out throw on their 10 meter line. Too much grittying, maybe that's why. Yeah. 
Grudy will get to. Emma Wade with the throw in. Goes the front, but it's stolen by Laval. Brought down pretty quickly. Laval probably gonna look to exit here. Go for a couple runs first. High tackle. We're gonna see another Laval line out. Two new subs here for Laval. Three and four, uh, three and yeah, three and four are coming out, and I uh, can't see the numbers yet, but uh, we'll get there eventually. Looks 17. like seventeen and Sophie Caro is coming in. Winnie wins Ow, with the steal. Winnie wins. Good one. <laughs> out to Comtois. It's a good carry. Jamie Lee Walker finds Sarah White, who's gonna bosh the Laval defender and find a bit of space. Grizzy Quick hands. to Bowie, but it's just knocked forward. Laval are gonna play the advantage out. Out to, I believe it's number 22. He is calling the forward for the knock on. <clears throat> Yet another scrum for Laval. Playing one uh, player down here for GGs since Gogo -Go is down for a little Out calf the back cramp. To Chabot to Sh Choquette, but it's a forward pass. It's going to be a GGs from Deborah Oya Torren. Likes that one. Hands up in the air. Great defense here. You know, it's a tough day to be a tight five. So many scrums, but. Subs. Looks like Ella Blythe is going to come in for Isabel Grise. Sorry, Grise is gonna head out to the wing for Go Go, and Blythe's gonna take number 13 position. GG Scrum. Boom going to pick to the right. Big stiff arms. It's going to be a high tackle against Laval. The crowd is asking when they're going to see a card. Gigi is going to opt for the scrum off the penalty. It's worked for them thus far. Typically, the number eight lines up between the two second rows, but Tyler Borsboom opted in to go between the flank and the second row in what they call the one channel. She's gonna pick out to Farida, to Sarah White, who's gonna kick, but it's blocked, and it finds Jamie Lee Walker. And the ball is Laval's now. A kick, but it doesn't go far. Grise takes it. That's it's a jackal for Laval. Penalty not releasing against the GGs. Bit of frantic play here, but ends up being. That was crazy. <laughs> Laval is going to go for the line out on their 22.
Looks like a couple of vowel substitutions coming in. Number six and number one come out. <coughs> Here's like number, number 19. 19. Ev Mari Ul has come in. Sister of a previous Laval player, Laura Ul. Samard takes it down. Rashet gets tripped up. And Ketsi is going to go for the jackal. jackal. Just misses. Pretty good defense from Laval. GG's. Bit of frantic play here. Gigi's calling for help on the blind side. But it's going to be a pick and go, number 19. Ul. Took down by Leia, which she tackles again. Work rate by Leia Stiles is just unreal. Disruption by the GGs. And they're going to be awarded the penalty for all their hard work. Great job by the GGs forwards to disrupt that play and get the ball back, but we have an injury on the field. Time off. Number nine, Corinne. Corinne Flechette was named to the long list for the Canada for their summer series. So trained in Ottawa a bit with the team. She's up. And she's gonna play on. Gigi's penalty just on their 22, I believe. Jamie Lee Walker going to look for the sideline. It's a good kick. Gigi's line out. Emma Wade with the throw in. Last couple have been stolen by Laval, so Gigi's going to look to retain the ball here. Andrew McMaster is going to tell the Laval team that they're encroaching a bit too much for his liking. Reset the line out. Leia Styles with a good take out to Walker, to White, to Kamba. She's taken down quickly. Quick ball for oh, Gigi's Torin here. With a good oh, oh, tried for the pop. Right idea, but execution not quite there. Rochette to Ul. Oh, and Kezia Kamba's going to get an elbow right to the face. Champagne over the top to 21. A good take here by Laval. Gigi's going to scramble to get set. Out to Ul again, but Leia Styles with an unreal hit again. Number seven is going to be taken down by Ella Blythe. Missed past number 22 to 11. Laval wants to try right here. Laval with good momentum deep in their attacking zone. Chabot to Champagne over the top. It misses. Bounce pass to the winger. Choquette's going to look for the line and she's going to find it. We have a tied game here at Matt Anthony Field. 12 12. Good ball movement by Laval. Audrey Champagne is going to tee up to try and take the lead.
Audrey Champagne. Conversion is good. Laval are going to take the lead. It's 14. Now 14 to 12 for the Rouge et All. Uato with the kickoff. Aurora Bowie's going to have ball in hand. Looks like Gigi's have a substitution. Number 18, Blessing Akundaye, has come in. For who? Um, I believe Deborah Oyatoran. Almost got smoked by the ball. It's going to be a Gigi's line out. Looks like Laval and defense have set up for a one-man boost in the front. Emma Wade into Leia Styles, but it wind takes it just a bit. It's regained, but knocked it on. Was knocked on in the lineout. It's going to be a, a Laval scrum. Lots of changes to the front row and the packs on both sides. It'll be interesting to see how these scrums turn out. And we have a new player here, number 20, Bronwyn Earl for the GGs. Bronwyn's making her GGs debut. I believe she also played for uh, U23 Canada or U20? U U18. U18. Yeah. Laval attacked the sideline, but he's going to call ex obstruction. GG ball. Jamie Lee Walker going to look for the sideline. Sorry, Jamie Lee Walker is going to go for the sticks, try and give the GGs the lead. She's about 35 yards out, but win to her back. And a penalty for non rugby players is worth three points. Jamie Lee Walker to give the GGs the lead. The kick is not good. It goes out the back. It's going to be a 22 for Laval. Gigi's looking to set up quickly here with nine minutes left into this game. 12-14 for Laval. You know, going for the sticks, not necessarily a bad decision. Gigi's are going to get the ball back here if they can retrieve the ball on the 22. Subs. Number seven coming out for the Rouge et All. Ball goes high and short. It's knocked on by the GGs. Laval going to retrieve it. Out to Ul. Taken down by Akunde. Blythe calling for help on the short side, or open side, sorry. A good tackle by Isabel Grise, joined by a couple of her teammates. Put a shet out to Caro. And Sophie, number 17, took that in. What an offload. Wow. <laughs> One-handed catch by Ul, but it looks like Sarah White might have gotten her hands on it. And she gets the penalty. That's Sarah White's second jackal of the game. 
coming up huge in the defensive efforts. She's known for her huge hits, but today she's proving a threat in the jackling position as well. Kicks it. We'll find a touch. Great field positioning for the GGs. Great opportunity to score here as well. What do you think they're going to do, Dodgy? I mean... Maul? I don't see why they wouldn't maul. Emma Wade with the throw in. Bit of movement. Boersboom going up. Ball's going to go over to Comtois. We saw that Laval scored in this exact same position earlier. Gigi's threatening the line. Retaining the ball. Kamba going to take a good run, but she's met by Laval nicely. Out to Leia Styles, but it's a high. Somehow Laval come away with a kick. Aurora Bowie going to, oh, sorry, Jamie Lee Walker is going to try and kick it back, but it's blocked. Mercedes. Oh. Mercedes with a, a flying, flying tackle. tackle. Ooh, going for some yards here. Gigi's gonna have to space out here. Out to Caro, to Chabot, it's thrown. Ella Blythe chasing down Gay. Tyler Boersboom going for the tackle. Someone's lost a shoe, but play keeps going. Gigi's defending this uh, quick Laval ball Yeah, Pretty Laval well. have not made many yards here. Ull gonna try and go for another run, but she's met. It's gonna be not, roll. not rolling away against the GGs. It's hard on defense, you know, when you get a bit of forward momentum and you try and go for the, the turnover. Job. Sometimes you can't be rewarded on that. Champagne to the sideline. It's going to be a Laval line out. I believe it's Marie Leandre La Liberté de, ga de Gagner with the throw in, her first of the game, I believe. Crowd thought it wasn't straight, but Andrew McMaster disagrees. Good offload by Chabot. Katia Kamba going to try and hold her up. Andrew McMaster is going to call it a mall. Still going short side. Andrew McMaster tells Sarah White to release, and she does. Another great tackle by Leia Stiles. What else would you expect? Chabot to number 23. She's quick, but Tyler Boersboom gets her. Laval can really move that ball. You can see uh, their connection. Yeah, Laval known for their wide passes. Bit of disorganized play here, but Laval find a break away. Aurora Bowie gonna go in for the tackle. Chabot to Champagne, out to number two. Sarah White's gonna meet her. Laval getting very close here. Very threatening position. Gigi's are also a player down. Players like they have an injury on the field. 
Gonna have to work really hard to stop Laval here. Wool with the carry. Sending it Chabot out. To Shuket. Mercedes Cole with the tackle. Laval, ball in hand. Still threatening the line. Seems like the ball was brought in, so Laval ball. Laval five meter scrum. Time off while well, an injury is being treated. It appears to be Bronwyn Earl of the GGs. Looks like Kaylee McMillan is looking to come in for the GGs, number 19. Both teams gonna take it as an opportunity to regroup. Less than two minutes to play here. Gigi's really gonna have to work hard to to stop the threat of Laval and get back on the board for the lead. Currently 14-12 for the Blue Géal. Laval scrum on five meter. Big scrum here for both teams. Yeah, huge. This could be a game-changing moment here. TSN Laval turning point. Advantage to Laval. Laval goes a bit high. Still retains the ball. Going quick. Chabot is gonna be met nicely by Jamie Lee Walker and Sarah White, but it's a bit high. Looks like Andrew McMaster might be going to his pocket. Maybe just a warning. Talks to Captain Sarah White. Oftentimes, you know, when there's a lot of penalty deep in the, when a team's a scoring position, sometimes the ref will look to go to his pocket. And I think he's just warning Sarah White about that now. Two minutes left. Laval penalty. They're going to go for the sticks. A good option if they can get this convert, or sorry, penalty, they'll be up by five. GG's will have to score a try in order to match them. Audrey Champagne lines up. And she goes wide. It's taken by, it's kicked out of bounds, sorry. It's gonna be a Gigi's 22. Gigi's are gonna look to put some pressure. Aurora Bowie with ball in hand. She goes high and long. Called by 22. Going straight into Blessing's hands. Almost rips it. But a shot to Shabu. Laval ball. Laval, Laval gonna look to keep possession and Gigi is gonna look to try and steal it with only a minute of play left. Kaylee McMillan gets the ball, throws it out to Mercedes Cole, looking for the outside. She's taken down by Laval. Gigi's with ball in hand. 
gets into a little mall. Leia Styles with the ball. She's Good tackle. met by, I believe, number 12. Good tackle by Laval. Aurora Bowie kicks it out of bounds. And play still goes. Play not quite run out yet. It's going to be a Laval line out. Gigi's going to have to steal possession and score. Still 14-12 for Laval. Laval looking to defend really hard here. Actually, no, they're on offense. <laughs> Laval line out. They go to the middle. It's not straight. GG's are going to have a chance here. It's going to be a GG scrum. Probably last play of the game. GG's are going to have to look to retain possession, not make any errors, and get on the board. Laval going to try and disrupt that. Here we go. Burrito with the put in. Out to Sarah White, who's going to hit Jamie Lee Walker. Finds a gap to Aurora Bowie. Half break. Out Keep to going. Tyler Moore's boom. She's met nicely. Blessing is going to take it for a run. Gigi's in a good position right now, and they have advantage. Obstruction. No advantage nope. coming from the previous penalty. Offside. Gigi's in great position right now. Looks like they might be going to play here. Oh, yeah. Not taking a chance at the line out. Out to Katsia Kamba. Good ball carrier, Katsia. Gigi's threatening the line here in the last moment. It's going to be knocked on Laval scrum. And that's the end of the game. Unfortunate end for the GGs who are threatening the line, but an overall great game on both ends. Yeah. Always exciting when these two teams come together. Final score is 14 to 12 for the Laval Rouge et All. And we'll see you September 17th when uh, the Gigi's play uh, Montreal Carabin. Yes. Thanks for joining us.